Good morning, Brooklyn class, and welcome to Homeschool with Carly. So we are going to use this channel to do different lessons that are simple that you can do at home. So this week, we are heavily focused on water science. So today, our goal is going to be to keep this paper towel dry, okay? So for this experiment, you need a glass or a mason jar, it does not matter what kind, okay? A piece of paper towel, it can be as big as a full square or it could just be a half a square, okay? And a big giant tub of water, okay? So the first thing that we have to do is take this paper towel and get it to fit inside this jar, okay? So I'm going to fold it in half a couple of times, let's see. So I'm going to fold it again. So I'm basically making it into a small square because my goal is to get it to fit inside this jar, okay? So I'm going to shove it inside the jar, okay? You want to push it in there pretty good because you don't want it to fall out when you turn it upside down, okay? So the next thing you want to do is have a giant tub of water, okay? So I filled this tub of water all the way to the brim. And unfortunately, I don't have a clear um, Tupperware or um, type of water holder. So the water is filled all the way to the top, as you can see right here. So I did want to show you that. So the next goal of this learning process is to keep this paper towel dry. So remember, we should be able to turn it upside down and the paper towel stays inside the jar. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this jar into the water and keep the paper towel dry, okay? So I'm gonna push it down, but I wanna keep the jar straight. You don't wanna put it in an angle, you wanna keep it straight, okay? So I'm gonna push it down, right? It should hit the bottom. So I tried to make a deep sound so you could hear it but it's all the way down and the water is really high inside um, this pot, okay? So you're gonna pull it straight up just like you did pressing it down. So I'm gonna pull it straight up and the goal, remember, is to keep this paper towel dry. So let's see if we did that, okay? So I'm gonna get the paper towel out. And, okay, here's our paper towel. So let's check, I'm gonna open it up and our paper towel is dry. Yay! We did the assignment. So why is this paper towel dry to begin with, right? Well, air is a lot lighter than water. So when you take this and turn it upside down, right, and the paper towel is inside there, and you press it against the water, the air has to stay above the water. So what ends up happening is the air gets trapped inside the glass. So when you're pressing down, right, the air is trapped in here. But what if I told you not to put the glass straight down, but put it at an angle, right? What would happen? What do you think would happen? So let's try, all right? So same paper towel, all right? I'm gonna fold it in half again. And for this, it's okay if your jar is a little bit wet because the goal now is to get this wet, right? So I have it squared off. I'm gonna put it inside the mason jar pretty tight, right? So it doesn't come out, right? Now, what we're gonna do different, okay, to defy this experiment is we're gonna take the jar and put it in at an angle, right? So we had first put it in this way but now we want the air to find a way to escape, right? Because before the air was trapped inside the jar. So I'm gonna put it in at an angle, all right? And you have to go pretty slow because if you go at not deep enough of an angle, the paper towel probably won't get wet. And if you go too fast, that might ruin it too. So let's try to go nice and slow. So I'm gonna put it in at a nice angle all right, the water should be getting inside the jar at this point, right? And then I'm gonna put it down. So what do you think's gonna happen? Do you think we're gonna have a dry paper towel or a wet paper towel? Well, let's find out. So I'm gonna pull this out, right? Okay, 
and it looks like, as you can see, water did get inside the jar. All right, so let's check how wet our paper towel is. So I can see that it definitely got wet in specific areas. I should have put a little food coloring, but I don't have food coloring, but you can see that in the center it's wet and at the bottom, right? But before, we didn't have wet marks on our paper towel, right? So the reason for this is because the air wasn't trapped anymore, right? We put it in at an angle, so the air escaped, okay? So that was our experiment for Tuesday, all right? And I will set up another experiment for tomorrow. Bye. Thank you.